Hi guys, it's time for my second weekly wax melt review. I've decided I'm going to do these on Friday and because I just did the first one last Saturday, uh, this one's only going to have six cents that I'll be reviewing and then next Friday there will be the normal seven. Yes, you are going to have to get used to seeing me looking like a hot mess. Believe it or not, I spent 10 years working as an administrative assistant, which means I went to work every single day in four inch heels and pencil skirts and silk blouses. And those days are long past. And now you get the full on country charm, Debbie. <laughs> country charm, yeah, right. Just looking like a mess is what I am. Um, anyway, I'm going to jump right into this and get started. Hopefully, the dogs will not interrupt with barking and my neighing clock will not go off. Um, for some reason, well, I know what the reason was. We have had a lot of rain and a lot of really cool temperatures. Um, actually, my furnace has been running nonstop for two weeks. So I found myself reaching for a lot of, um, you know, probably scents that I might not have normally reached for on if had the weather been warmer and nicer. And for whatever reason, I found myself reaching for a lot of favorites. So one of them was Mama's Peach Cobbler, which again, as you all know by now, I am a melter, not a burner. This one, weirdly enough, the top and bottom layer chose to separate which is no big deal because I scoop I just you know take a little of each out um, mama's peach cobbler is wonderful I love this scent I rate it um, as far as the scent itself I would give it a five as far as the throw I would only give it about a four and a half it's not quite as strong as I would like it to be but the mixture of Cajun cornbread and I think it's a maple butter crunch. Sorry, I'm checking my notes. Yes, it is maple butter crunch. Is perfect. I love this scent. It's very buttery uh, from the maple butter crunch. And I think a lot of people would really, really like this. I'm going to play with this wax. Um, the maple butter crunch actually is a scent that glor. Gloria, where did that come from? Victoria, I used to work with a girl named Gloria, speaking of work, that's where that came from. Um, the Maple Butter Crunch was a scent that she added to the line fairly recently as a scent on its own. I've not yet tried it on its own, but since this did separate, I suppose I could do that. But I do really, really like the scent a lot. Um, I also warmed sorry got wax all over my table again i'm a hot mess not only as far as i look but these reviews are probably going to be a hot mess and of course you can probably now hear rocky barking outside at the neighbor's dog outside of our fence they visit a lot um lemon peach pound cake preserves is quite a mouthful and quite delicious i another scent that i rate a five you get the pound cake um, and I'm sure anybody who's had pound cake, and you probably all have, pound cake is one of those cakes where you pick it up and you can feel the weight of it. I don't know how to describe that as a smell, but it's there. It's not overly cakey, but you do get that sense of heaviness without the scent itself being heavy, which probably makes no sense at all, but I can't think of any other way to describe it. There's only a hint of peach in here, and it it's a very sweet peach, which kind of mellows out the really tart lime. Now, I happen to love the tartness of that lime. Some other people may not, but this is a scent that, I don't know, I reach for this quite a bit, even during the summer months, probably even more so during the summer than I do during the um you know, like late fall and winter months. This one is really, really good. Peanut butter and jelly. I'm not going to give a big, long, lengthy description of this because you've 
heard me talk about this twice now, I think, fairly recently. This is my happy scent. Always makes me smile. The jelly note in this is quite a bit heavier than the peanut butter is. And to me, smells very, very much like a grape um, Jolly Rancher. Love Shack is a mixture of Love Spell and Pink Sugar. The Love Spell is heavier, so if you're not a Love Spell fan, I don't know how much you would enjoy this one. Uh, it's just one of those sweet, feminine, girly scents, similar to Sexy and Stilettos. It doesn't necessarily smell like Sexy and Stilettos, but as far as the type of scent that it is, that sweet, feminine, girly scent. I really, really like this one, and this is perfect, in my opinion, for, like, the bedroom. Um, apple Cobbler. Sorry, I'm dropping them all over the table. Um, I have gone through this thing like crazy. Pam Sampson actually sent this mustard jar to me. Oh, I'm not even sure how long ago now. Probably no more than six months ago. And I have used that much of it since. Apple Cobbler is a Macintosh apple. So it is a sweet apple. It smells very, very fresh. Sorry, I've got mosquito bites all over me, and I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I'm not forgetting to tell you anything. <clears throat> um, it's a very, very fresh-smelling apple. There is just the tiniest, tiniest hint of cinnamon and nutmeg and some other spice that I'm not quite able to detect in here. So if you're afraid of those overly spicy bakery scents, this is not one of them. This, to me, actually smells very, very much like if you had just put a Dutch apple pie or pulled a Dutch apple pie out of your oven. It's, it's just a perfect, perfect bakery scent. There I go with that perfect again. Um, and the crust on this isn't like Granny's pie crust sweet. This crust, I would say, is a little bit more like... Um, cornbready if that makes any sense it, you get a little bit of that saltiness almost in there yeah or maybe that's the spices that are giving it that salt that little bit of saltiness but I really love the scent as you can tell and the last one was Viva La Juicy another that I really enjoy this did rate higher on my scent list and I'm going to explain that and you're probably thinking oh here she goes with one of those big long explanations that she's so famous for this does rate a five as far as the scent itself it's a perfect dupe of the perfume if you've ever smelled that which I hadn't um, until actually until after I had tried the scent shot of this and then I made sure I went right to the store and smelled it and it is an exact dupe. The only reason I no longer rate it a 5 is because I know there are so many of you who believe in cure time. Yes, I think that some of the scents need cure time. But personally, I've found that for me, if I don't use them up within like 3 to 6 months, the scent changes. Now, maybe that's just my nose, and I, I don't mean changes in a better way. Um, there have been some that that's happened with. Sweet potato pie is one that, that comes to mind specifically. That one, the longer I had it, the better it smelled. It got sweeter, it got stronger. This is a very strong scent on its own, and it has gotten stronger since I've had this. And this one is one that I've had, I don't know, maybe a year or perhaps a little bit longer. I don't write my the dates on anything um, like some of you do. And I probably should start doing that to make sure that I do use them up in like a three to six month time period. Because my nose, if they cure for too long, finds that they're not as enjoyable to me had I used them when they were a little bit newer or fresher. This one, when it went in the warmer 
smelled exactly the way it should. It was exactly the scent that I fell in love with. But as it was in the warmer, th that scent started to change. And to me, it developed into a, uh, like it had you melted a crayon. It got this very, very weird, heavily waxy scent. And I ended up pouring it out sooner than what I would have done um, had it been fresher. So again, I know so many of you believe in cure time and if that works for you, that's fine. You know, we all have different noses. Everything smells differently to everybody, whether we're smelling something different in the scent or we're smelling something different with or without cure time. I just know that personally from now on, It'll be a three to six month time slot for me. Um, so my orders aren't going to be as large as they once were because I want to make sure I, I use up the scents they have in an amount of time that works for me. So again, next Friday, be back here again. As usual, leave any comments or questions in the comment box below and I'll see you next week. Bye.